Hello, Future Broncos. Welcome back to episode two. I'm with my guest host, Claire. Let me introduce you to her. Hi, everyone. I'm Claire, and I'm a third-year transfer student here at Cal Poly Pomona. I am studying psychology, and I don't think you've introduced yourself on the season yet, so why don't you give us an intro, too? Most definitely. Thank you, Claire. So I have I actually have introduced myself in the first episode, but it wasn't a full introduction. You are right about that. Thank you for watching intro to season six. So my name is Andrew Brodal. How you guys as you guys know, I am a first time freshman at Cal Poly Pomona. Right now I am a second year civil engineering student. Today I want to talk about the transition into college and basically the purpose of this episode is to help you guys understand the difference between a first time freshman and a transfer student. So Claire, since you are a transfer student and you have had that transition coming into a four-year university, mm -hmm. how was that for you? Well, I would say that because I was already in a college environment on a community campus, I had a lot of the experience of just knowing where to look for resources on campus and like how to explore a college website. So I feel like utilizing the links and the admissions website and the outreach website was really important during that process because they offer different things for freshmen and transfer student checklists and what you're supposed to look out for in terms of the application process and being admission getting your admission into cal poly so booking those like campus tours i know you can do that through outreach as well and you can meet with your class like council or your academic advisor and book appointments to meet with them. So another resource that I found really helpful when transferring was the poly transfer program. I feel that I was able to kind of get admissions and outreach all in one service that time. Um, they really helped with familiarizing me with the campus and my academic advisor just the university theater where we participated in a little research project that we did which introduced the whole hands-on learning by doing at cal poly which was really cool and i feel like that made me more comfortable coming onto campus just in terms of i knew familiar faces coming on to campus there were students i transitioned with i'm curious to know more about how the process was like for you transferring as a first-time freshman how that was different, what you learned. Okay, yeah, most definitely, Claire. So for me, I was a first-time freshman. I came right out of high school. The transition for me was, I would say, amazing. I'd say the difference between high school and a four-year university is a big difference. You know, there was a lot going on. I wasn't used to so many clubs and so many resources on campus. I remember when I came in for orientation and they were talking about all the resources and all the different clubs and uh, competitions engineers could do and just learning about how there's so many majors and how you're able to pick your own schedule overall it was amazing but to get really into the transition i was a first gen student myself so i applied to college i applied to fafsa i applied to i basically did the whole process myself and i was able to overcome it and achieve it and i'm here now at cal Poly pomona but i would say the biggest resource i used as a first time freshman was probably eop educational opportunity program it was probably the resource to help me out the most it helped me out enough to where i didn't really need any other resources so basically with the op i was able to have a mentor have someone to help me apply uh, apply to classes I had student tutors for all my classes and stuff i still to this day have uh, specific tutors that i can go to for all my classes they are um, specifically for eop students you know the st there's a study room there's a lounging room. They have free snacks most of the time. And they also throw events and stuff for us and, you know, mental workshops mm -hmm. and basically just to make sure we're on track and if we need any uh, backup and any help. And that was my first mentor on campus was my EOP mentor or mentee, they call it. From there, I basically expanded out to all the other resources that engineering students have. Like we have our own advising team and our own tutors for engineers. So those are what helped me out the most. And it helped me out enough to where I was comfortable to keep on progressing through campus and progressing as a civil engineering student. So that was my transition. And thank you for sharing. Yeah. That is there any differences you've seen that, Claire? Like, what do you think the biggest difference is from my experience and your experience? Do you see anything that stands out? You know, overall, I think it's like a pretty similar experience, to, to be honest. I, I think that in terms of getting involved with 
the educational opportunity program and like the promise program we have those resources handed to us despite whether or not you're a transfer student or a first-time freshman it's just about whether or not you're utilizing those resources and looking for them i think another thing that's important that you mentioned that is getting involved with your academic like your class council your class itself and that department learning those advisors getting familiar with like your professors peers that are also in your clubs because that is a social capital and it opens up more doors to different opportunities and different experiences that you might not have just walking around campus alone and i think that's another thing that's important is despite how different the journey is we're all in the same place together and we all have the resources it's just about being involved and yeah. yeah no i completely agree claire thank you for that clarification i the last thing i would like to add just to reiterate what she said i feel that no matter if you feel your high school or your community college didn't prepare you enough for college there's plenty of resources at cal poly pomona we mentioned a few and there's tons of more you could probably there's you could see them on the cpp website and you could just a quick search of resources for first-time freshmen or resources for community college students and yeah. the resources are out there regardless mm -hmm. whether or not you think they're not out there but they are they're there to help you and if anything there, there's a lot of room as well there's probably some resources that is, resources that aren't really used and on our caminos website specifically we have all of those resources available at hand we have our prospective student links and websites that will lead you to our uh link our link tree link tree has a lot of our workshops and different uh registration for you to get involved with different meetings just to prepare you for that transferring process as well as uh, how to apply for financial aid and how to apply for scholarships you realize once you get on campus that there's a lot that you need to be prepared for so i think just utilizing even project caminos is very helpful i wish i had known about it before the transferring process and it wasn't until i was on campus that i learned about project caminos but they really have everything there like the outreach and the admissions especially knowing and being familiar with those resources is definitely really important thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed episode two and if there's any specific information you guys need help with or if you want us to talk about a specific topic on the next episode you could email us at caminos at cpp.edu that's it for today's episode thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed the scoop don't forget to subscribe to our youtube and our instagram as well as our tiktok that will be down below in the link in the bio <laughs> oh my gosh how did you mess that up that's it for today's episode Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the scoop. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Instagram. The link will be in our bio down below. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs>